the truck finally has park and brake cables in there uh, the part numbers that I use for the rear park and brake the left side I got from advanced auto parts and the right side I got from advanced auto parts I pulled it up under a 85 Chevy K30 the left side park and brake cable is BCA 93253 and the right side is BCA 93254 and these cables work fine for the 14 bolt um, hooked up to the shoes just fine went into the back and plate just fine and they were long enough to work for my lift of 12 inches and I got everything to work with the, the 3 inch body lift for the body lift I ended up drilling a hole and they kind of elongating it so that the parking brake cable from the cab could pass through the mount. I don't see this cracking at all. Um, that's why I kept the holes rounded. That's the way that I ended up doing it. I tried drilling a hole a little bit higher up than the factory one. So the factory one is down here. I tried doing a hole here and have the cable pass underneath this and go to that. That still didn't work. So I was going to do a bracket and have a bracket kind of come up and around so it would bolt up to here and then the parking brake cable would come through the top of it. I was going to do it that way and then I ended up just kind of going with how I have it now. So I had a long eighth inch drill bit. I measured up to where I wanted it to be, drilled the hole and then transferred that hole through to the other side so that they'd be in line with each other. I think the eighth inch bit is like a, a 10 inch long drill bit. So it kept it in line with it. It works. Uh, the cable runs along the side of the frame uh, it goes through the factory bracket. It obviously gets hooked up to the axle. But the rear bracket, I have mounted right behind the spring hanger. So I ended up taking it and drilling another hole in there and bolting it in that way. So that made it so that the cables would come down far enough have the slack that they needed into it and be able to have a working parking brake I have an automatic now but I still would like to have a emergency brake for in case of emergencies but those are the part numbers that I use like I said they hooked up onto this 14 bolt full floater with no issues uh, so if you need parking brake cables there, there's um part numbers for you and it's just a matter of hooking it up the connection piece I also got from advanced auto parts it was in their little help section so there's a way to get a parking brake to work on a 12 inch lift um, some like I said some people think they don't need it but I'd rather have it and then I just got a little bit done on the hubcaps I think they look a little bit better than how they originally started. So, yeah, a little bit more work, but I think they're getting there. Uh, the two GMC ones, that's basically where I started at with it. And then created my Chevy ones. So this one I'm working on polishing. Uh, I cut the center out and so now i have a front one and then i have the rear one i'm not too happy with how the paint came out so i gotta re mask everything off and redo the yellow on it uh, and then do a little bit more sanding on it i haven't sanded the top here just because i'm probably still gonna have to do a little bit more work on there but that's what they look like i mean i think they're they're coming along fairly decent I stopped at 1200 that's what the 1200 looks like 
and then just using that blue polish to polish it out so a little bit upgraded from what they used to be uh, cutting the centers out and then two-part epoxy the mints are there I don't think you can tell that I cut it yeah really the mess up is just in my painting but you can't tell that I added that cap into it it's pretty flush so they're looking fairly decent So I think that once it's mounted on there, it should look pretty fancy looking. <clears throat> the hardest thing is just getting all the coating off of there. You know, just sanding it bit by bit. 220, going through a lot of 220 on it. And once I get the coating off, it goes pretty quickly. So that's what they look like. That's a little bit of an update on them. Uh, and I do the four washers welded to the wheels and then uh, angle little angle brackets four angle brackets to hold them on there so once the wheels are bolted on I can bolt these to the wheels so you won't be able to see the lug nuts maybe it would keep them from uh, someone trying to steal the wheels that looks pretty good a little bit more work two more to go that one I already cut the center out of so it's working my way around on there that's my little bit of update